Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, and today we're going to be starting a new Let's Play of Borderlands the Pre-Sequel. Borderlands the Pre-Sequel is in the Borderlands series. I've played a lot of the Borderlands series, and it's honestly one of my personal favorites, even though it, uh, it kind of gets overshadowed by Borderlands 2 and Borderlands 3 for their, uh, for what they both do respectively to the series. We're going to start a new, uh, Athena Gladiator, uh, character, and we're going to just see how far we can get her. Most of the joy of this game is just seeing how far you can uh, level up your characters. A lot of people end up getting just whole lists of uh, every character, all the way max level, with legendary gear, perfectly. All the parts are customized, so their RNG is perfect. And the, ga the gameplay is just phenomenal. The writing is goofy, uh, but, but charming at times. And right off the bat, we have a couple of better guns. We have a Hyperion shotgun. Just one of the greatest weapons ever thought of. It's a very atmospheric place. Uh, for those of you who don't know, we're on the Helios space station. It's a big satellite orbiting the moon or Pandora, which is the main hub planet of Borderlands 2 and Borderlands 1. And partially the pre-sequel. And right now it's under attack by uh, some Lost Legion Marines. And they're with the Doll Corporation, I think. Which I believe their whole thing is that they're just militarized. This first section is mostly just going to be cutscenes, so we're just going to try and get past this and get to the good gameplay. The Lost Legion must have killed this one. People think robots can't feel pain, but we actually feel it in slow motion with great intensity. This robot died in horrific agony. Did my cloud trap die? That's awesome. Hey, you the vault hunters I hired? This is Athena reporting in. Oh man, the ex Lance assassin. Awesome, big fan. Help! Lots of help! I got no idea who these asshole troops are or why they got a murder on for this base station, but they got me pinned! Forward! Take out! Fight! Fight! That's Handsome Jack. He's the villain of uh, Borderlands 2, if you don't know. One thing I really appreciate about the uh, Borderlands series is the graphic art style. The way it's uh, cartoony but also 3D. Uh oh. This might be bad. Well, that's a shame. That's our first death. Didn't even get past the tutorial on that one. Wow. Ah, that's all right. I'll do my best to not be uh, too wasteful with our lives. Just clean up these guys. And we also got our first level up. Although, unfortunately, we don't get any levels until I believe level 3 in this game. That is very embarrassing, though. Dying on the first, the first set of enemies in any video game, but especially a Borderlands video game. Borderlands video games aren't known for, for being too, uh, too punishing, especially starting off. Just 
turn quest here and get our first shield. Jack needs to summon some turrets so that way we can shoot said turrets. Alright. Who's that woman? I don't know, she leads these jackasses, I think. I don't know, but the first person to shoot her in the head... This might sound mean, and I don't mean it that way, but if Borderlands had a just a little, like, hold whatever button to skip cutscene for moments like this where it's mostly just people speaking, I think that'd be good. Just, just because it's a game where you have to play it over and over and over again to complete just one character. For those of you who don't know, you can play it multiple times. Uh, I believe at level 30 is when the first playthrough ends, level 50 is when the second playthrough ends, and then I'm not sure what the final level cap is in the current version of the game. Uh, if I ever get that high, I guess we'll find out together. It's your boy. Okay, that's unnerving. Run! I fear your defenses are inactive. Oh, Evacuate. Destroyed the ship. Evacuate. We gotta find another way out the station. I've never seen a creature like that. What was it? Uh, no idea, but I get the feeling it could kill us with its brain, so you know, uh, <laughs> keep running. Jack, what the hell is going on? I'm getting reports of alarms all across Helios. Nothing, sir. Nothing. Everything's fine. Just, uh, one of the claptrap units tried to French kiss a light socket, sir. Need I remind you that you are there to observe Pandora. Nothing more. If you incur any damages to the Helios space station, I will personally... Oh, sorry, sir. We're losing connection. I... Uh, sorry. Ask. What? I called you an asshole because I thought I'd hung up. My bad. We will speak again, John. You can actually uh, play as Jack uh, with one of the DLC characters. He has little uh, turrets on his wrists, if you noticed. They're fun, but not really that useful as the character. And typically we wouldn't be able to do that, but we have a special gun. I'm not exactly sure why I have this gun. I'm pretty sure it's uh, for having Borderlands 2, or maybe I have a, vet, a very special version of the pre-sequel. Borderlands for me is like Skyrim, you know, I order it and then I reorder it. Yeah, see, we're on a big space station. Borderlands' artistic design is very, de very, uh, beautiful. I'm very jealous of, uh, what they're able to pull off. It actually inspires me to try and make more stuff. Even Jack's taking a look at it. Okay, well, I've got a stupid idea. We're gonna head to that moonshot cannon. Follow me. What's this moonshot cannon we're heading toward? Basically a huge gun that shoots supplies down to the moon's surface like at about a thousand miles an hour. We're gonna get in one of those containers and escape that way. Will we survive that? I don't know. They're at the moonshot cannon! Move in! I'm getting better. All right, and we got our first skill point. Now we can finally unlock our shield. It's not exactly the, the most offensively powerful uh, ability, but it gets the job done. 
One of the things Athena has going for her is that she can actually be a melee character. She has a, a special dash ability that allows her to like swing into people and do extra damage. But that's that's more of a, a cap off skill for one of the for one of her uh, skill trees. I think in the meantime, we're just gonna try and focus on getting some movement speed because movement speed is fun. We're also going to get introduced to our first boss. This gun melts just about anything in the early game, so this boss isn't going to be too much of a challenge. Although now that we've run out of this, we've got to swap back to more normal guns. May as well use our action skill, so you take a look at it in all its glory. Now we're not exactly going to be speedrunning this, but we are going to be trying to uh, hurry along at least a little bit. We're not going to be wasting too much time doing every little mission. If we can, we, we're going to try and speed up the process however possible. It's not going to be easy for us though. Athena is one of the more balanced characters. Step, step one to keeping this playthrough efficient is going to be having ammo and this gun. Because this thing is not cutting. So let's, I'll, show you, I'll show you any glitches I, I know of. I think that would be interesting. It typically wants to load this uh, earlier or later, and you're not supposed to be over here, but uh, you can step over here and crushes you. All right, you get into the moonshot cylinder and ride it up. I'm not gonna lie, I did not expect that to do that. I thought that it was gonna do a different thing. I'm pretty sure I might have uh, stood in the wrong area. I think you actually have to stand over there. You gotta stand over in this area. Hold on, I'm gonna spin the cylinder. You can't hop out yet, there's a little invisible wall. Make it up there? Free up the elevator so I can join you. There's a bot in the elevator. She got waist in tight. Eh, no big deal though, they can't feel pain. Just bash him out of there. Oh, these loaders bum me out. It's no wonder Dahl took us over so easily. I need more soldiers. Badasses. Like you. And then this guy comes in and we can kill him before he shoots the console, but he shoots the console, whatever. All right, that's twice and we get a big chest. Uh, now we just gotta... Oh, for what the... The auto shot controls Take that. are damaged. Someone's gotta stay back and launch the pods Take manually. That. I'd suggest Athena, but I need John Elpis. You're the only person that I can trust... Oh, also, if you hear that stunted dialogue, that's because oh, Borderlands the pre-sequel was the first Borderlands game to have a uh, custom dialogue, so now it's... It's very, uh... They're figuring it out. They're in the process. You know, these are the teenage years. 
after having a, a very You're radical really elementary school die. experience. Yeah, you can see it's just a, mostly a lot of talking. <laughs> Might want to grab some ammo too. Supplies over here. We need to get a moonshot container up here. Normally we'd load some supplies, but this time you're the cargo. There's just a button here. If I could just press this button just to activate the moonshot myself, I'd, I'd appreciate that. Just leave Jack behind, you know. Why, why can't why can't I there should be an alternate path where you can just let Jack die and just do your own thing Yeah, what does he do he gives you the mission, okay Athena used to give missions In Borderlands 1 she was a she was a character in Borderlands 1 she gave you missions I'm not sure how, but he survives that. And you get a cool little animation, and you get to see that, yep, we're gonna be on the moon. Which means we get cool double jumps and oxygen systems. And losing oxygen isn't lame in this game. It's just sort of a thing. Hello? 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 If you've ever played FTL, losing oxygen becomes such a, such a task to deal with, maintaining it. But uh, in Borderlands 1, or in Borderlands the pre-sequel, you can just sort of let it let it do its thing. Uh, for reference, Borderlands the pre-sequel came after Borderlands 2, but it's set in between Borderlands 1 and, and 2, hence the pre-sequel. And for whatever reason, everyone is Australian. I think they had a different game studio work on it. But I think it's, a, I think it's actually very charming, for whatever reason. As an American, I, I feel like having people with having like a set world with people speaking in a different accent it sort of makes you realize uh or not makes you realize but it makes you feel like you're in more of a story world if that makes sense i i would hope it do it does also this is jamie springs i've been talking over her introduction she's a character But gonna be honest, I typically race past this area so we don't get too much of her character. Here, I'll turn on this air dome generator so you can get a breather. And you can see I have no uh, oxygen right now, and I'm not I'm not struggling at all. Very friendly design. If I could just press a button and open the thing myself, that'd be nice. I, I love sequence breaking. I think the more opportunities you have to sequen, sequen, uh, sequence break, the better. Everybody good? Nice to meet ya. I'm Janie Springs, junk dealer. Who are you? I'm Athena. Well, hello. So what are you doing here? We need to get back to Helios Station, but we can't until we take down a jamming signal somewhere on this moon. A jamming signal? Haven't noticed anything like that. 
you might want to get to Concordia, a little city run by a fella called the Merriff. Got to be somebody there who can help you. You'll need an O2 kit, Oz kits we call them, to survive the journey though. I've got some broken ones stashed nearby, but I can repair them for you. Even if you ain't the breathing type, you'll be glad. Yeah, I think we're just waiting for uh, head to these coordinates for the quest. The place out. For an activation? Nope. My bad. My fault. That's on me. I, you see, look at me. I, I, I could have been sequence breaking this whole time. We can see very pretty game. No matter where you look, it looks like a comic book. That building used to be in one looks like a, a perfectly like uh, what's what's the word framed? A perfectly set comic page. We can grab our first Oz kit, which means we'll be able to ground pound, which is going to make us much more deadly. Gotta be careful. Trying to crouch, crouch in midair. Oh. Yeah, they have interesting mechanics with with the air and the uh, and the not air areas. And right away, we're just gonna put a point in uh, in this increases movement speed and gun damage while holding the Alpis. Aspis. I always called it the Alpis. I think we're on Alpis. Let me turn in this quest. All right, first Oscar. And if you look on the mini map, she has a little thing over her head. She has a quest, but we're not going to be doing that. We don't need to be a, a high level or have a good gun. Killing him will get you to Concordia and make my week. Win win. Why are we killing Deadlift again? He's kind of a dick. Is there anything else or? Well, he also stole my Moonzumi Digistruct key, stranded me out here, and got really rude when I told him I wasn't into guys. But mainly the being a dick thing. Vault Hunter, this is Colonel Zarpadon. <laughs> Sorry. You must leave Elpis. Things are about to get much worse. I don't want to kill you if I don't have to. Tell that to the people you murdered on Helios. Fine. Do what you will. Deadlift, this is Colonel Zarpadon. I need you to kill the Vault Hunters headed for your ship. Get them, sir. I ain't taking all. Yeah, there we go. We can just skip right over that dialogue. We don't need that. <laughs> just checking the uh, vending machines to see if there's a legendary. Sometimes they have them. Borderlands, the pre-sequel, for whatever reason, had just like amazing drop rates in the uh, vending machines. There we go. Now everybody's talking over each other, and it's a good, it's a good experience. So a lot of the exploding barrels around. Just want to be careful those don't get me. I will say. Even though the writing is not the greatest, the voice acting, the actual sounds the actors make, just so pleasant to listen to. Deadlift, like, I appreciate his voice actor. complete the circuit between those two live wires, it should reactivate the jump pad. Just stand between the two sparky bits. That sounds unsafe. Just waiting for the quest marker to actually activate, so we don't waste time, there we go. Try and not die. I'd like to not. I love the movement mechanics in this game. They should have kept them. 
I am. Oh, they should have kept him. I also witnessed the deaths of many innocent people. Let's grab some of this because we're about to go and face a big boom thing. Let's run here and quickly get on this. Yeah. Just before the cutscene starts. He's got a cool design and the first laser weapon, and he does shock damage. But he's actually not really that bad. Although I will be- I'm pretty sure he actually killed me my first time. He killed me my first couple of times. Here we go. You can grab this. Ah, eh, may as well. Why not? And run our way. Hey. Monza, am I glad to see that? Pick it up. Now you've got the Digistrack key, you can turn on one of my moon zoomies at the Dahl way station. Get yourself there, but be careful. Scavs have taken over that place after the crackening. <clears throat> Pretty sure we can grenade jump. We don't get hit. There we go. Just speed up the process a little bit. Elvis was an old Dahl colony way back, but then the crackening happened. Lava erupting everywhere had them bubbling off pretty quick. Well, they left whole factories. Didn't mean for that to happen. Equipment just lying around. This isn't good. After a few years, the first fleet arrived. It wasn't the first one here, but that's what they called it. People started living here again. Oh, I wonder I if I can get up. Here, oh, okay. Well, let's see how this turns out. But most people you run into will say Dahl caused it. Extracting minerals or something. I don't know. I guess stories don't have to be true to be believed. Let's just throw in a couple of these and just hope for the best. See, haste makes waste. I also gotta remember to keep my Alpus out so we keep moving faster. Because we don't have just, you know, missions to get through. We, we got whole playthroughs to get through. Let's chuck that over there. That's another one of the things that um, this corporation can do. I'm not sure. It's called uh, TDOR. Yeah, TDOR, you can throw your weapons. Yeah, I can't help myself, it's fun. Be careful, don't want to drop off at a weird point. Yeah, this is okay, it's it's still not better than our actual our, um, Hyperion shotgun. We're just running over here to get a uh, moon zoomy station, aka a car. Ignore that. Just smack it. Yeah, we'll just smack it, and we're good. good on ya. Now I don't know if the explosives make it go faster. In Borderlands 2, it, uh, it makes your car faster. I don't know why. It is very fun world building to see the doll on certain things, especially a lot of the moon-based stuff. I had help. 